Congratulations on the win. How do you feel like your performance went? Um, I think it was good. I think I started a little slow in the first round, but I was expecting her to come in and double leg me straight away. So standing was uh, an adjustment, but yeah, everything was good. Do you feel like when you come into a fight and you're on an undefeated streak that there's extra pressure to remain undefeated that maybe you wouldn't feel if you had a loss on your record? No, I mean, I lose all the time in the gym, you know. Like I said, uh, my teammates beat my ass, so I know exactly how it feels to lose. Uh, I just make sure that I do it enough in the gym that I don't do it in the cage. Uh, but, I mean, being undefeated isn't too important to me. What about the pressure of being the first of a few teammates that are performing on the same card? Do you feel like you have to kind of set a standard um, of winning for the night? No, I mean, I think they set the standard. Those two boys that are fighting tonight from Extreme are savages. So I know that if I'm on the same stage as them, then I must be pretty damn good too. And your dad was in your corner, correct? Or here with you for fight week? How yeah, was yeah. that? He's over there. Uh, it was great. You know, he's been in my corner most of my life. He's only missed one or two fights. So I always have my best performances when he's there. And uh, it's going to take a lot to beat me in front of my dad. Can you explain that to people who maybe don't understand the bond that you guys have and how that really does affect you in a fight? Yeah, you know, we started together when I was four years old. I started going with him after uh, daycare to his kickboxing class and I would sit there and watch. And after a couple of years, I was allowed to join the adults class. So it's always been me and him and it's been our dream since I was 10 years old, sitting on the couch, watching UFC with him. So to have him here and to show him, you know, how far I've come, that was pretty special. And you mentioned wanting to take a little bit of time off. Um, what do you plan to be doing in that time? Just training the same way that I always do, you know, without the added pressure of a fight. I just want to get better. And I think that if I don't have a fight booked for a couple months, I can really focus on just like getting better as a fighter. Thank you. Thank you. You had her in a crucifix for a while and that looks to sort of be the beginning of the end. When you had her in there and you were hitting her enough times, did you feel like, well, even if she gets out of this, I'm going to be able to finish this? To be honest, after the first round, when I saw how long it took her to get off the get off the floor, and my coaches were like, "Look how tired she is," I sort of knew, you know, uh, from there that this was my fight. Once I had her in the crucifix and I was landing those shots, you know, she was turning her head just a little bit. I knew that I wasn't going to finish with that, but as soon as she turned around and tried to stand up, uh, and I got that neck, I wasn't letting go. Is there a weird sort of extra enjoyment when they don't tap that you get to put them all the way to sleep? Yeah, yeah, I was stoked to see her fall asleep. I know that's really sadistic, but that was great. Did you watch football yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, disappointed, but I got one back for Scotland, so it's all good. There you go. Congrats.